Hey and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather and this is the Fluffy Oracle. Today's pick a card is going to be all about why you are in this person's life and what lessons you are going to be teaching them or the reason and the lessons that you are currently teaching them. So the other day I did a video of the opposite of this of why they are in your lives. But remember this is always about the person who first pops into your mind and that that is what this reading will pertain to and resonate with for the most part. Your choices are Oscar, Buddha, and baby Jasper. Timestamps will be down below before we jump in. Feel free to take as much time as you need. If um, you need any extra time, please feel free to go ahead and pause the video before I jump in. And I will start with Oscar. Alrighty, so jumping in with Oscar from my loves who chose the first pile. These cards over here are going to be an overview look at your current situation to help you kind of figure out who this is in reference to. These are going to be the lessons that you are teaching them along with a little bit of guidance. These are going to be spirits reasons for um, why you're with uh, around this person and what you're teaching them and the lessons that you're both learning from each other. And then this is going to be some overall guidance to help you both out during this time. Alrighty, so let's find out whose life you're in and why. So we have blossoming abundance. And then we have hostilities, magical powers, and healing. So with blossom, yeah, blossoming abundance, I feel like this person is a very uh, free natured spirit because I'm really attracted to this scene in this picture. And I really feel like this person has been having a very stressful time and stressful go at things lately with life. And that they always seem to be a little bit on guard and a little bit on edge. And that they are a type of person that likes to want to try and manifest a lot of different things. But things just aren't going as quickly as they'd like to. And I feel like they're also burning the candle at both ends. Like working a little bit too hard right now. And that they are always like they they really need to take a time out and get some rest in order to put things into better perspective and order so that they don't feel so like stretched thin is what I'm getting. All right. So let's see what the lesson is behind why you're in this person's life and what you are helping them with and teaching them. So we have coming into power. I step into my power boldly and confidently. So with this, I feel like you're kind of like the ray of hope and that you are someone that they can look up to and kind of like role model after is what I'm getting with this card. And then we have ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. You're pretty much like their personal cheerleader <laughs> and you're kind of helping them to keep going and keep moving forward and then keep a positive mindset. These are the lessons that you're teaching them and that you're probably already doing and helping them with. And then we have solitude in silence. Peace prevails. So I feel like you've also shown them or are showing them how it's okay to take some time to themselves and to rest and rejuvenate and to not be so go, go, go. We have vast vistas, expand your horizons. So you've, you're helping them learn to open their mind to new things and how to go about new and other, um, obvious adventures to help them get to where they're um, going right now. And then we have answering the call. The time is now. So <clears throat> you're helping them to see any opportunities that are coming in and also to take a new opportunity with you to make this journey at this point in time. Alrighty. So what's spirit's reason behind all this? We have the card of boredom from the, uh, which card deck is this? The ask your guides card deck. So with this, I, it's not boredom. If it is, it's only because they're bored with the way that they're going about doing things and not getting things done. It's more about the image for me in this card with 
being able to be open or receiving and also vice versa with get with uh giving and listening to their intuition for like both of you guys okay and then we have appreciation you're teaching them to show basically the attitude of gratitude and to know that it's okay to also receive from others and to be grateful for what they have and what they're receiving is what spirit's uh, reason is for behind all of this, all right? And also see their truth and for how things really are. And also face things like themselves in the mirror or any other issues just to face them head on is what I'm getting with this. And acceptance. To accept things for how they are and the way they are and how things are actually going to be going. And to be able to be okay with things is what another lesson is for behind this. And then we have enthusiasm. More of having that attitude of gratitude and positivity and optimism is what they're learning with this for what spirit's reason is for behind both of you being in each, in each other's lives. So you're both teaching each other how to stay positive and reinforce each other and to build each other up. So I'm going to go back and read these cards for what they actually say on them. Just in case you guys were wondering. It says, I live in my truth for the truth. For the acceptance card, it says, I unconditionally accept, cherish, and love myself just as I am. These are also some good affirmations as well if you want to keep them in mind. And then it says, I celebrate everything in my life and I live to... Um, I live in limitless joy. So let's see what guidance we have for overall to help you guys with learning these lessons and also teaching each other these lessons. Alrighty. So we have spiritual quest. So this is to help you to awaken more. And the guidance for both of you is to live in both of your spiritual truths and to accept each other for the way you are and to see things just as they are. Simplicity, basically, is the mindset with this. And then we have childlike expression. Be open-minded and be able to just have fun with things. Don't be so serious. Life is not always so serious. Understanding. See each other for what what you are and who you are and have that eye to eye basic understanding of each other and know that even though they can be a little bit headstrong at times you have to see them for their viewpoints all right and you have to also be able to understand their type of view as well and then we have blame don't blame each other because the second you point a finger at somebody, three fingers point back at you. See the analogy in that? So everyone is equal, if not just as much behind these reasons, all right? It says, I accept responsibility for my well-being. For that one. Then we have envy. They want you to teach each other not to be so jealous of each other as well as what I'm getting with this. This may resonate with only a few of you out there, but take what does and leave the rest, as we always say. And it says, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So, as I've said before, accept each other for the way you guys both are, and that will help you have a deeper understanding of each other. And then we have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So, not only being honest with them, but mostly, more importantly, honest with yourself and with the way things are and also to be accepting of the way things are. And that's about it. And always just speak the truth to both each other, hopefully. Even if it's just you speaking the truth, at least one of you is. And always hold that, like that integrity. All right. So these are your messages. I do hope that they helped and that they resonated. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week, uh, a wonderful weekend <laughs> and a wonderful day. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Alrighty. So for my loves who chose Buddha, let's see what we get. These cards right here are going to be a general overview so that you can understand and kind of get a feeling for who this uh, reading is going to pertain to. These cards right here are going to be your lessons and some guidance to help you for what you're teaching them. 
And then these over here are going to be spirit's reason behind these lessons for both of you and their guidance behind them. And then these are just some general extra guidance to help you both with understanding each other and also move forward with each other. So we have the sun and then we have the temple path, prosperity and confidence. So with this, I get that this person is a very happy go lucky person and also vice versa as well as you. And I feel like it's also a love relationship that this pertains to because I'm really attracted to the water and kind of like an ace of cups feeling and that things are going really well and that you guys have come into contact with each other because you were basically meant to. And with the temple path, I feel like this has been one kind of like crazy, but awesome and amazing journey for both of you. And that it has also brought in a lot of happiness and abundance and a lot of self-confidence with boosting your self-esteem for both of you. So let's see what the lessons are for um, what you're teaching them and the guidance behind that. We have rise above. I see only beauty and grace. So with this, I feel like you help them to raise their vibration and to stay happy and to see the brighter side of life is what I get with this. And then we have protected by angels. You are cherished by, by the angels. So I feel like you help them to feel safe and you're teaching them that it's okay to be safe and to feel that way. And then we have reaching your destinations. I also feel like you have been teaching them a lot about reaching their goals and pursuing their dreams. Because this to me feels like a dream right here. And it says your light is shining brightly. So you've definitely been that beacon of hope and light to help them move forward and to pursue everything that they um, want and need in life to make their life more comfortable and happy. Then we have cleansing waters. Purification activates a, a vibrant life force. So with this, I feel like you put their minds at ease and that you've been teaching them to relax more and also be able to go within and to see things a little bit easier and have a lot more flowing of emotion and to be able to be comfortable with speaking their emotions and expressing them towards you. We have fogged in. Go slow, take time. I feel like you've actually cleared their minds and help them come to a better understanding of seeing things because for me it's like the fog is moving behind them and that things are actually a lot clearer for them now since you've come into their lives and taught them so many things already so let's see what spirits reason for behind these lessons for both of you we have denial seeing things for as they are and being able to take the mask off is what i get from this picture and that way you guys can both live in the, in the light and in truth with each other. We have unconditional love. They're also teaching you both the lesson to have unconditional love for each other and unwavering loyalty as well. And then we have commitment, compassion, and faith. So with this, the reason behind this was to both teach you to have commitment to each other and to have compassion, which is the unconditional love as well. And to finally be able to learn those lessons and be able to be open and express them and to have faith in each other and know that you have each other's back and that you are both safe with each other. We have my life is divinely guided for the faith card for some extra messages just in case. And then we have my commitment increases my joy and freedom. And the vibration of compassion shines through my every cell. So with this, I feel like you've also helped each other to open your hearts up to each other and to make that next level commitment to each other because of how much compassion you've both shown each other. So let's get some extra guidance to see what else we have. We have sustenance. You guys both fulfill each other very spiritually, emotionally, and just basically in every sense of the way you fulfill each other 
which is awesome. And they also want you to keep doing that. Protection. You guys make each other feel safe. And you've basically really learned these lessons very well without even realizing it. And you've taught them very well as well. So these are basically turning out to be con kind of like confirmation cards for the rest of the reading. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> but they also want you to both look forward to the future because you have promise of the future because you guys have a very promising future together and a very lifelong committed relationship between each other. We have acceptance. You've both both learned how to accept each other very well and fully with this is what I hear. It says, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. You don't need to change each other. You've accepted that and you've understood that. And then we have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So you guys have no, you guys have basically eliminated any shadow of a doubt in your minds for why and who you are and why you're with this person. Alrighty. And then we have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. You guys both complete each other and you give each other that fulfillment to not feel alone anymore in life. Alrighty. So these are your messages. I do hope that they resonated and that they helped. And thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing to my videos and for watching. And if you're new here, thank you so much for taking the time out to view my videos. Have a wonderful weekend. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose baby Jasper, let's see what we get for you guys. These cards over here are going to be a general overview of your current situation to help give you an idea of who this person is and who it pertains to. And then these cards right here are the lessons that you are teaching them and also a little bit of guidance. The reason behind these lessons from spirit and what they're helping you both with. And then these are just some general overall extra guidance and maybe even a little bit of confirmation. So, all right, let's see what we get. We have a, a, a appreciation. So for this, I feel like this person has a very high appreciation for the finer things in life. They are really sharp, snazzy dresser like all the beautiful things in life and they like to dress kind of like and live a little bit lavishly and then we have caring connections so with this i feel like they could also be kind of like either a soulmate or the type of person that is still looking currently for one or is also very still happy in a new relationship that they've come into as well as vice versa with it being with you And then we have joy and true love come to me. So with this, I feel like if they're in a relationship with you, they are extremely very happy with you. So that would pertain to the person you're, you're obviously with in a soulmate um, relationship and connection. But this also could be the type of person that has like a very kind of childlike expressive look at life. And who is very uh, heart and love centered. Which isn't a bad thing. Because I feel like they bring a lot of joy to your life as well. Because I'm really attracted to, to uh, the uh, word joy. And I'm like, what else am I attracted to in this? I feel like they see you as kind of like a very sweet person. Sweet natured. And also they look at you as kind of like a sweetheart. And also vice versa. So let's see what the lessons are. We have following your bliss. My soul sings with joy. So with this, I feel like you've taught them to follow their dreams or that you are teaching them that. And you've helped them very much to have this joyful outlook on life. And kind of like that childlike expressiveness. And to be able to be kind of like that happy-go-lucky type of person. You've helped them to really come into that. We have uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. So you've actually taught them quite a lot is what I get from this and that you've taught to taught them to accept things and to be grateful for the things that they already have and to have that attitude of gratitude and outlook on life. We have fellow travelers. Support is all around you. So you're teaching them to 
be able to support themselves as much as um, they're teaching you in the same is what I get with this. All right. And to be able to sustain an equal balance and to not like overindulge or live like over lavishly, even though it's okay to do that. You're teaching them to be like in moderation is what I get with this. And then we have choosing your path. All is possible. You, you basically also are teaching them that anything is possible, but you still have to have that sense of direction and that sense of like modesty. And then we have stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. So you've taught them to see things pretty much like to look almost towards the unknown a little bit and to kind of like be a little bit wary of that and to have like that general understanding like anything can happen at any given moment. Alrighty. So let's see what spirit's lesson is behind this for both of you. We have bravado, warrior guides. So theirs is basically what their lessons for both of you were pointing out the obvious and to see the differences between everything and to take in a more kind of like common collected type of thing and point of view of um, seeing this instead of being so rush in, jump in and not think about the consequences after. Then we have survival. You've taught them to actually put money. Um, their lessons are to actually get you guys to see each other to be able to put money aside is what I get with this. And that way you have a little nest egg for anything that may happen in the future. So it's teaching you guys both this at the same time as well. And also be there for one another. And then we have adventure. Wonderful new experiences fill my life. So with this, it's definitely kind of like a new path and a really long journey is what I get with this between the both of you. Like this has been like a long time coming. Like you guys have been friends for like a really long time or around each other for a really long time. And then we have awakening. I am joyously awake and aware and ready for anything. So that comes back to being prepared for anything and everything and being aware of your surroundings and everything that's going on. And then we have delight, knowing that it's okay to have that indulgence, but not to overdo it so that that way, in case something happens, you're prepared and you have what you need. It says, I delight in everything in my world and divine joy fills me is what this reads. So let's see what the guidance is overall for both of you. And if there's anything extra that they want to do or tell you to help you. We have openness. Open to all and any possibilities. Especially with the unknown. Because I'm really attracted to the moon in this. Insight. Following your intuition. They're wanting you both to follow your intuition a little bit more and all these lessons here are helping you to listen to your intuition and to follow it. So that way you are better prepared for things. And then we have wholeness, accepting things for the way they are now and being happy with everything that you have currently. And then we have failure. I understand that a mistake is. Sorry about that, guys, for the interruption. My dog had heard something outside. So with failure, it says, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So there, it's not actually a failure type of situation for whatever happens. You're prepared, but even though you may not be as fully prepared as you thought you were, it's completely okay. And that you can figure out a way around this, especially if you're listening to your intuition. All you have to do is calm down and focus a little bit is what they're having, um, suggesting with that card. And then we have relationship. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So you guys are both divinely connected and that you have a deeper understanding of each other and a spiritual sense as well with this, because you are very connected 
not only just with them, but with yourselves and in higher alignment is what I get with this. And then we have freedom. I possess the power and free will. Yeah. Yeah. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So you know that you can't force someone to do anything and then they vice versa. They can't force you to do anything. All you can do is suggest and guide them in the right way. So that's basically all you can do with this relationship is continue to help guide them in the right direction. And it's their choice whether they want to follow you know, your guidance or vice versa. And also as well as like maybe following their own guidance as well. So these are your messages. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading and that everything resonated as much as possible, at least <laughs> for those of you that are watching this. So thank you so much for um, checking this video out and have a blessed one.